Trump. These sexual assault claims stack up against Donald Trump. First Lady Michelle Obama today spoke out in disgust after hearing that Access Hollywood tape of Donald Trump seeming to brag about committing sexual assault against women. Now is the time for all of us to stand up and say enough is enough. I can tell you that the men in my life do not talk about women like this, and I know that my family is not unusual. Clinton, in response, tweeted to the First Lady, quote, I'm in awe. Thanks for putting into words what's in so many of our hearts. As Clinton surrogates go after Trump, Clinton herself is courting big money donors, even with just 26 days to go into Election Day. Let's go to CNN's Jeff Zeleny. He's in Los Angeles, where Sir Elton John will join Clinton tonight. Jeff, let's go back to Michelle Obama for a second. She never said Trump's name, but there was no question to whom she was referring. Jake, no question at all. She did not refer to him by name, only calling him the candidate. But Michelle Obama turned a campaign speech for Hillary Clinton today in New Hampshire into an impassioned plea for why people should pay attention to this campaign, no matter how offensive you may find the language. I can't stop thinking about this. It has shaken me to my core in a way that I couldn't have predicted. Michelle Obama delivering a blistering rebuke of Donald Trump and his crude comments about women. It would be dishonest and disingenuous to me to just move on to the next thing like this was all just a bad dream. This is not something that we can ignore. It's not something we can just sweep under the rug as just another disturbing footnote in a sad election season. She's weighing in with an unusually pointed and personal denunciation of Trump. A call to arms for women, men, and, she said, basic human decency. We all know that if we let Hillary's opponent win this election, then we are sending a clear message to our kids that everything they're seeing and hearing is perfectly okay. We are validating it. A coordinated message with Hillary Clinton. I hope you will see Michelle Obama's speech today in New Hampshire. And once again, she not only made a compelling and strong case about the stakes in the election, but about who we are as Americans. In their fight to hold the White House, Democrats believe Mrs. Obama offers the most compelling argument for Clinton, speaking from the moral high ground, or what's left of it in American politics. She's wading in deeper than ever before, and far further than she intended to in this campaign. Aides tell CNN she was disgusted by Trump's words from a Hello, decade ago, revealed on a tape last week. Too many are treating this as just another day's headline, as if our outrage is overblown or unwarrant unwarranted, as if this is normal, just politics as usual. This is disgraceful. It is intolerable, and it doesn't matter what party you belong to. All this as hacked emails from the Clinton campaign continue to muddy the waters, portraying the painstaking calculations behind nearly every move, even sending out a tweet signed by Hillary Clinton herself. Far from spontaneous, Clinton aides engaged in a remarkable back and forth about language she should use in a tweet. In the fight to raise the minimum wage, communications director Jennifer Palmieri writing, if we tweet, we will immediately get asked if we support 15 and then attacked when we have to answer that we do not. Doesn't seem worth it. With 26 days remaining until Election Day, Clinton's path to 270 electoral votes is widening. Polls show she has a growing command of the race in most battlegrounds. Yet Democrats are worried about complacency, a point Mrs. Obama addressed head on. We cannot allow ourselves to be so disgusted that we just shut off the TV and walk away. Because remember this, when they go low, we go. Yes, we do. In addition to complacency, the Clinton campaign also worried about voters being uh, finding contempt for this whole tone of the campaign, Jake. So deploying Michelle Obama is one of the ways Democrats hope to turn out voters. She has never loved the campaign trail at all, but one aide told me today she knows she has a unique voice. She plans to use it for the next four weeks. Jake? Jeff Zeleny, thanks so much.